People person 4000 here, hello and welcome back to Mafia 3, so let's change some clothes, the v Vietnam time is... Yeah, would you shut the hell up? Let's get some formal. Yeah, waiter. <laughs> yeah, I can... I can give you some bullets. So, I have had some difficulties with this game, or actually with the game's audio. I don't know what's wrong, but the audio hasn't, you know, been recorded, so... I did a couple of things, but nothing... Nothing... Yeah, there was anything big that happened, so... But, I don't know. Let's continue. Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. Color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of him. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of them. So... What the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here, this ain't rocket science. That fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the plate. He's gonna come after him, you understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. <sighs> fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcee Bennett. Alcee is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcee's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. So, in this story mission, we have to kill Tommy Marcano. And uh, I'm gonna do the next thing that I'm gonna do. I'll let you be done. Did a bit of. Uh, shut up. Did a bit of, you know, these missions that lead to the mission that we kill him. Fucking idiot. My associates are really bad drivers. Right? Well, then I'm just a blind idiot. But, anyways, we have to do a couple things to get to Tommy Marcano and to the gym where the counterfeit press is or whatever. Last time we rescued that Alvarez who was the counterfeit fitting special. But now we have to get to Tommy Marcano. That's, that sounds good. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so I picked up this little fucker and I have to go to the Acadia. I changed my plan. I, I mean, I, <laughs> I changed my mind. I, I'm still going to record the whole, whole fucking mission thing, you know, with all these, these fucking. You, you get the picture. If you don't, then you don't. Well, you know, I've stayed away. I ain't stepped foot in the hollow since November '62. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. 
It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him. I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think you wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever call home. Christ. Hey, you trying to wreck? <laughs> So I don't know what I was talking about. There's only one just one mission. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Maybe the holidays got me. Christ. Thank God the holidays are over. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. Holy macaron! I'm sorry, lady. Anyway, like I was saying, the fuck off. Driving, God damn it. Might want to pay attention. Shut up. I'm the one who's driving here. Yeah? Well, what was Especially. I saying? And I do this. You get a clean slate. Damn it, why the fuck there's the so much please. traffic when I'm trying to get somewhere okay. and schedule? If you win out, Tommy meets you in... No, that's not... That's not the place. Hey, come in. Come here. Where the hell am I going? I hear if you win out, Tommy... You're trying to wreck! You're trying to wreck? I hear if you win out, there's the place. Tommy meets you in person. True. He likes to stop. Okay, so we <laughs> have to go that way. Hold up, Alcee. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Knapp Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. What you gotta do? Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker rooms down here on the east. So what the hell? Maybe we grab some grub and we're done here. I don't have any weapons. Hang back, boys. Well, I can't do that. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump them in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. Okay, I'm having a really bad feeling about this. Know. Where you at, LC? Alright. Look at the map. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, LC? New guy. This guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something. Do I really have to go and, you know, box some fucker? No, fight against some dickhead. <laughs> nah, we'll <get laughs> I was anyway. waiting for so some, we you know, cut. action with my Probably what you think. guys. For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. Enter the ring. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you see this me getting my ass kicked, then that's okay. Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this is. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fight niggas. Through here. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall. Weighing at approximately 220 pounds. This is Jack Knife Johnson! Jack Knife Johnson. That's pretty bad. This is a cage fight. Damn. Just had to start something. Motherfuckers over here! What the fuck? I pressed the fucking out. Come on. Fucker. Damn. Did I win him? 
I guess I did. <laughs> it was really horrible. No one's clapping. Fuck you all. Hope you die of starvation or in colonial cancers. Come on, another one. Boom Boom was a paperback compared to the brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, fuck. Come on, fucker. Come on. You want some nickel, dimes, and chips? You want some fish and chips with my mm, fist? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This guy was easier. <laughs> The champ. Making his way to the ring is the beast of the bayou. The rampage of River Road. God damn it. Your champion, Great Dickerborn. Yeah, I want to do the Mike Tyson trick. You know why they call him his fucking ears. Does he fair these motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. Really, really hard. Oh, that's good. Hit Fucker. Come here. Break it yeah. Two. yeah. Oh. Uppercut. I'm getting a headache from this shit. Okay, this is actually okay, but then I'm not into these kind of, you know, fucking things. But you have to do something that... All right, uh, that's it, kid. Well, Let's go. What happens now? You head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. Never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. Oh shit. I'll mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick. Sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. Work his way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> That way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be cautious Come on. as the flames creep up your legs. Come on, bail out, you fucker. <laughs> Do I have to before you die, you gonna feel your pack up butt. It's gonna curl and twist as the Yeah. Kiss my ass, you fucker. You don't have to do this. We can work something out. Only thing needs working out of your funeral arrangements. So that's that then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. 
Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Shouldn't listen to him. It's in the blood, you know. <laughs> yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. I don't deserve this! I don't deserve this! I don't give a shit what you deserve. Reach the street. But I found some money, but is it a fake money? I don't know. There's a pistol. How many rounds? Um, 60. Yeah, I just had more rounds. Won't take my time with you. Spotted him! Don't take more than you to hurt me! He's over there! There's a lot of these fuckers. There's oh, that's why. Fierce! It's first. I get my old gun back. Okay, the start of this mission was really shit. Okay. 
can't see him. Eat that. Can't see them. Okay, and so maybe I just have to, you know, kick ass. Well, <laughs> I've been trying for it for, during the whole game, but it hasn't worked out like I wanted to. Fancy meeting you here, shithead. Fuck! Reloading! Okay, how many guys are still coming in here? In some games, that reinforcement thing is straight from the cow's ass or something. If that was the end of the reinforcements, then that's good. But you shot him in the ass.
Exciting. Take the better gun. <laughs> Screaming Zemais, those, those are really weird shit. Getting way of bad. Again, it's getting fucking ridiculous. This has taken about half an hour. Kill me and then you cry with a couple of little wounds on your head. I won't shoot you in the head anymore. I will shoot you in the dick. Into the dick section. I wonder how many goons are outside. Oh shit. Go! Ah, 
God damn it. I didn't do anything. It was the other guy. It was the same guy from the green tail. No. It wasn't me. I have a peace-loving personality. I can't be part of that kind of shit. Fuck. What happened to the money plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve? I don't recall. Georgie! Get your ass in here. Your Uncle Tommy's dead. I thought you'd like to know. Sorry, Pops. I, oh, man, I know what he meant to you. He was a smart kid, your Uncle Tommy. Could have been anything. I tried to tell him, go to college. Even offered to pay for it. <laughs> Instead, he went to Cuba. It's not your fault. Yeah. Well, we're pretty well fucked now, you understand? I, mean, I was counting on that counterfeit money without him. Yeah. Well, now there's got to be something we can do. You go put the squeeze on people. Get to increase what they're kicking up. It ain't gonna be enough. Just because you poke holes in someone doesn't mean you're gonna get anything extra out of them. You could always call Leo Galanti. Ask him to front... Fuck him! The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission, they're gonna wanna cut everything. Damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make a call. Get out! Shit. Leo! <laughs> How the fuck are you? It's Sal. Yeah? L listen, I, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot. Because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Father James, or whatever his name was, is, then he has a really heavy heart. <laughs> well, we killed Tommy Morcano. That's the main thing. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're gonna continue killing some other fuckers later on. Thank you really much. And bye. <laughs>